Even in the worst thunderstorms of the Amazon rainforest, my father raced on his motorcycle down the dirt road to our generator. Nearly every week he had to fix the machine to keep the electricity on in our remote community. I grew up completely reliant on a diesel generator and deeply aware of the necessity and vulnerabilities of our energy supply. This started my lifelong curiosity about energy systems. I studied mechanical engineering in university to learn about this technology and the physics of energy. When my brother was living in the Canadian Arctic, he often told me about the challenges their communities faced and their need for frozen ground to keep roads and buildings secure. Knowing that there are millions of people living in the north who need better ways to generate heating motivated me to look for solutions. I was very glad to use my master's research to discover a new way to heat and cool from the ground. I used computational fluid dynamics to design a heat exchanger system that was connected to the foundation of a building. Instead of unwanted heat from the air or other sources traveling through the ground to melt it, my research showed that we can capture this heat and bring it back up to warm the buildings without needing to burn any fuel. I'm very excited to see that this project is growing tremendously. I worked as a CTO for the company that is now commercializing this geo system. However, I keep noticing that the real world performance of technology and the actual effect it has on people and their environments are not always the same as what we design. I realize that the ground is as unknown as outer space or the deep sea, and yet this environmental knowledge is essential for us to build truly reliable, economical and efficient systems on the earth. Unfortunately, it has been too costly and slow to generate and sort through the large amounts of data that we need to more accurately model technology in real life. But what if we could use machine learning to help us? With the brain of artificially intelligent software, we can see patterns in large amounts of data that we couldn't see otherwise. The moment that I realized we can train our computers to understand the complicated physics of energy and earth science was the same moment that I decided to found Umni Inc. And I was incredibly lucky to be able to assemble the best possible team to get started making these essential tools. I've always been excited about the idea of bridging the gap between the fields of advanced information technology and boots on the ground industries. As a child and teenager, I was equal parts computer geek. I wrote my first program at the age of 13 and outdoor adventure. As an adult, I have spent years working in the agriculture and construction industries. I've raised livestock, produced food, built buildings, designed irrigation systems, and much, much more all across Canada, including Ontario, BC, Saskatchewan, Nova Scotia, and the Northwest Territories. All the while, I've been studying the advancements in software for development, writing code, and building applications. Recently, I've been focusing on the tremendous potential that machine learning has to solve countless long-standing problems faced by physical industries. I believe using machine learning to solve these problems is one of the largest untapped opportunities we have for improving people's lives. When my sister Sarah approached me with her idea for Omni, I could see that this was the perfect place to apply my combination of knowledge in computer programming and on the ground experience. Leading the technical development of our company, I'm building software for people in industries that I myself have been a part of. With the choices we make about the design and function of our machine learning software, we are making advanced information technology accessible and relevant to the people who produce our food, power our vehicles, and build our homes. Growing up in Northern Lebanon, we were excited whenever the electricity clicked on for a few hours each day. We'd rush to wash our clothes and heat water for showers. Looking back, I see that energy is not available everywhere. These experiences help me form my beliefs that our energy solutions must be as accessible as they are creative. I was fortunate to move to Canada to do my PhD in mechanical engineering. During my postdoc, I worked with industry partners to build geothermal pilot projects in Ontario. During that time, I discovered Sarah's research and I was immediately curious about its potential. I love that her work focused on remote communities affected by permafrost. So teaming up was an obvious choice for both of us. I often felt that while academia has a serious potential to help with climate needs, its slow pace meant we were burning time and fuel at a rate that the planet couldn't sustain. After getting to know Sarah and Sheldon more, it was obvious that Omni should exist to speed up the development of energy solutions because we need these solutions now. One of my favorite things about my work as the head of science and research at Omni 
is being able to quickly iterate on a solution. When you're born in a country where you don't always have electricity to do your homework, you learn to embrace constraints. And this has shaped how I work. Boomni's competitive edge is our proprietary software development process, which combines the use of computer simulations, real-world data collection, robust testing procedures, and deep learning algorithms. Blending this process with our team's unique knowledge and experience allows us to solve problems for our clients that were previously considered too difficult. By streamlining the commercialization of new systems, we are helping to reduce costs for buildings and energy. Our software sets you up to use machine learning to predict a system's capacity, measure its efficiency, adaptively control your equipment, and detect faults. Due to our team's existing expertise in the realm of soil, rock, and the physics happening below the Earth's surface, we're currently focused on training artificial intelligence to quantify this incredibly important and understudied part of our world. These AI models help to lower the cost of construction, drilling, and agricultural projects, all of which rely on an accurate understanding of the ground. In our first year of operation, we have accomplished a lot. Besides the software and research that we have developed for private clients, we have also built several public apps, including our global ground temperature predictor and our soil thermal conductivity model. Both of these applications are more accurate and faster than existing methods for finding ground temperatures and thermal conductivity. These apps provide immediate benefits to industries that need to consider temperatures and thermodynamics underground. These tools are just the beginning of what we have planned. As our company grows and accesses more resources, we will be able to produce software that will revolutionize entire industries. Our team is multilingual and has connections in many different countries. We are looking to grow globally. Additionally, over the past six years, our team members have combined been privileged to win funding of $1.4 million from grants and awards. We are well positioned for rapid growth. Now more than ever, the industries of energy, construction, engineering, architecture, drilling, and agriculture need new tools that fuse advanced physics and computational modeling with the latest data science and artificial intelligence. With Umni software, complex problems become simple. We came together and founded this company to build tools that are user-focused, scientifically accurate, cost-effective, and reliable. Umni Inc. is modeling nature's complexity. Let's chat.